My name is Aaron Dixon, and I'm a senior biology major from Birmingham, Alabama. And I serve as the 2015-2016 Executive President of the Student Government Association. Today, I will be your MC for the night. We will start the night off with Christmas carols by our Alabama A&M University's choir, directed by Dr. Horace Carney. Next, we will have the invocation by Ms. Tara Crawford, followed by a welcome by myself and a welcome from our very own president, Dr. Dr. Andrew Hugini, Jr. Good evening, everyone. It is with great pleasure to be here yet on another great occasion. Can everyone please bow their heads for a prayer, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time of fellowship. We thank you for this time to come together as an institution to celebrate the life of Jesus, to celebrate each other, and to really honor the efforts of every faculty, staff, and the students. As we go forth with this occasion, I ask that all hearts and minds be clear and allow us to focus on the true purpose of this event. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Tara. Good evening, everyone, again. As I stated before, my name is Aaron Dixon, and I'm a senior biology major from Birmingham, Alabama, and I serve as the 2015-2016 Executive President of the Student Government Association. I would like to welcome you all here today on behalf of the entire Student Government Association and the entire student body as we come out to celebrate the beginning of this Christmas season. Thank you all. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Good evening. To trustee Dr. Jeanette Jones, our lovely queen, Miss Miller and her court, to Mr. Dixon, our SGA president, Dr. Crosby, the Vice President for Student Affairs, and other members of the President's Cabinet, any deans, administrators that may be present, First Lady Abigail Eugenie, all alumni, our faculty, our staff, our guests, but especially the very best students that exist anywhere in this nation, the students of Alabama Agriculture and Mechanical University. It is my delight and pleasure to welcome you tonight as we come together to formally begin Christmas season here at Alabama Agriculture and Mechanical University by witnessing the lighting of the Christmas tree. 
Christmas is indeed a very joyous occasion. It is a time when we spend with our family and with our friends. But it's also a time that we engage in many celebratory traditions. However, let us not forget the real reason for this season. Christmas symbolizes the greatest gift that has ever been given to the world. Some refer to this gift as Emmanuel, wonderful counselor, Prince of Peace. No gift we could receive this Christmas would be greater than the gift which God gave through his son, Jesus Christ. And for that reason, we celebrate Christmas. And we embrace it as a time for C, singing carols, those beautiful songs which are heralded at this time of the year. H, for happiness, what we feel as family and friends come together. R, for rejoicing, that loud hosannas to our king. I, for immeasurable, the love which God gave to us by sending his son. S for sharing, sharing with others. T for thankfulness. M for merriment. A for admiration. S for savior, the one for whom we celebrate this great day. So on behalf of our First Lady, our Board of Trustees, our faculty, staff, and students, we wish for each of you an enjoyable and blessed Christmas as we give thanks for the greatest gift of all times, the Messiah. Thank you, President Hogan. Up next, we will have our Christmas message for the evening. I would like for you all to give a round of applause for Mr. Aaron Walker. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Somebody told me this is the season um, to be happy and to be joyous. So um, today we're going to get into the real quick message. Um, as I stand here today with this tree behind me, I thought about John 15. And in John 15, 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branch. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and you, it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. For many, Christmas is the time to think of Jesus Christ as a baby in a manger, while the birth of, while the birth of Christ is a special and miraculous event, it isn't the primary focus. The central truth of the Christmas story is this, the child of Christ is God. Christmas is not about the Savior's emphasis, it's, it's about his deity. The humble birth of Jesus Christ was never intended to conceal the reality that God was being born, that God was being born into the world. So today in modern society we have moved away or we have used Santa Claus and all the material things to take us away from the true meaning of what this day truly means, that the ultimate gift was given, but not just into the world, but God then left and left us with something called his Holy Spirit, something that would dwell amongst us and in us and be used through us each and every day. So as we light this tree today, we're just not lighting this tree to illuminate this campus, but the lives and the spirit that lives on the inside of us are also lit up today. As we stand together in unity, as we stand together in one in this season and being thankful for all things, life and liberty and everything that God has given to us and beyond more, the Savior who has came to save our life so that we may have life and life more abundantly. And so in this season, as you go back to your family, your friends, and loved ones, and as y'all sit around the Christmas tree, eat the turkeys, uh, dress it, and get fat just for a season, I want you to think about something. If you had nothing at all, would you still be satisfied? Would it still be another day to give the Lord thanks and praise? Because every day above the ground is a day to be thankful. Every day is Christmas because God provides each and every day for us. And so today, I want you to really reflect as we light this tree. And as this tree 
lights up this campus and become a lighthouse for the lost souls that might be wandering around here. We ask in the name of Jesus that we move away from the materialistic things that has blocked our eyes, our minds, and our hearts from receiving the ultimate gift of life that you have given to us. We ask right now, we declare and decree that your power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, dwells within us. Light the tree of fruit in our lives, so Lord, that we can, be, we can go out into the world and so we can be able to show your goodness and your glory and your gift to those, Lord, who have missed it. And so we thank and praise you for what you're about to get ready to do, not just in our lives and on this campus, but throughout this world, Lord. So help us, Lord, to be the lighthouse and help us, Lord, to be the starters and the catalyst of what you're about to get ready to do. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Merry Christmas and happy Thanksgiving. It's crazy that every time we have an event and uh, uh, First Lady Hugini or Miss Anderson asks me for a speaker, I always seem to call on Aaron because uh, it's always something that I, I take home to myself. So I, I hope you all have heard something inspirational uh, that you may take home for yourselves. Next we will have another Christmas carol by the Alabama a and University's choir and Dr. Horace Carney. bring up our First Lady, Mrs. Abigail Hugini, and our Miss Alabama a &M University, Miss Joy Nicole Miller, for the, the lighting of our Christmas tree. Good evening. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him will have everlasting life. The Christmas season is our most joyous season of the year because we observe the birth of the Messiah, who taught us how to love. Love is about sharing, caring, giving, and forgiveness. At Alabama A&M University, we have a legacy of giving and sharing with others in the community. This will be evident on December 2nd, when Ms. Alabama A&M University, Joy Miller, and the student organizations here on campus will give gifts to the children at Martin Luther King Elementary School. We salute them for, for exemplifying the true characteristics of our Messiah. As we light this Christmas tree, let us all remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas and God bless each of you during this holiday, holiday season and throughout the year. Got it? <laughs> now that our beautiful tree is lit behind me, we will have remarks from our Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Gary Crosby. Everyone give him a round of applause as he walks in. Good evening. Um, Mr. Executive President, I do receive that. You spoke it into my existence. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this evening as we are sharing the holiday season with the traditional Christmas tree lighting ceremony. 
Traditions are important because they create memories, shared hopes, and binds us together as a university. They allow us to reflect on the past while preparing for the future. And so as we go our separate ways this evening and in the weeks to come, do so in the spirit of giving, in the spirit of love for our fellow brothers and sisters, and in the spirit of compassion. For you see, we indulge in all of these from our God Almighty through his son, Jesus Christ. Again, thank you for your presence this evening. Have a safe and memorable holiday season. Now we will have remarks by our president, Dr. Andrew Hugini Jr. As we bring this Christmas tree lighting to a close, we certainly want to thank the individuals responsible, as Dr. Crosby indicated, for creating this new tradition here at Alabama a and University where we place the Christmas tree in the center of campus on the quad. So we want to thank each of you that contributed to the success of this program. To Ms. Anderson and the area of student activities, we thank you so very much. To First Lady Abigail Hugini and the Bulldog Pride Committee. To our wonderful choir, Dr. Horace Carney, thank you so very much for being here the, uh, this evening. To Ms. Erica Fox and our University Telecommunication System. To uh, Mr. St. Jones for always being present and capturing the uh, historical aspects of this university in our various programs. To Mr. Jeff Bernard and the Aramont facility staff for the installation of this beautiful tree. To Ms. Alabama a and University, Ms. Joy Miller and her court. To the program participants, to our president, Mr. Dixon, thank you so very much for a wonderful job that you have done in presiding for this program. And special thanks to Mr. Aaron Walker for those very appropriate, inspirational message to remind us of the true meaning of Christmas. So to each of you, we wish for you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. Thank you. As we part from the quad, please feel free to take pictures with this, this beautiful tree that uh, Aramark has provided with us today. Uh, thank you all for coming out. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish